I truly think it is time for us to move on from each other. Good morning. Welcome to day six of Vlogmas. We are here, we are thriving, we're living. So I do not know if my moon cycle is just giving me weird cravings or I'm just a weird gal. It might be a mixture of both. But I just did some toast with the chive and onion cream cheese with some grape concord jelly on top. Yo, my toast is thriving. What? So good. What's on the docket today? We have, of course, our baby Lainey today, dog walking. That's at 1.30. It's currently 11.34. I have edited and scheduled an upload for day five to go up at 12 p.m. Eastern. Check it out. It should be up by the time this video comes out. Um, yeah, I edited it this morning and it was so fast. It was like maybe an hour editing. I'm like, Kayla, you're getting better and quicker. And I love that for me. I think after the dog walk, I don't know, it depends on how traffic is, since it is a weekday. After the dog walk, I do wanna move some things out of my apartment into storage, so we can go ahead and get that ball rolling as well. We're gonna move some things today. We gotta get moving. Cause I don't wanna wait till last minute to be frantic and not have anything together. So we're slowly gonna start moving things into storage. I think I'm also, even if I don't, move things into storage today i think i'm gonna still go to storage because i just want to rearrange it and make it more organized so i can easily put my stuff in slip my stuff in there like a tetris cube and you know easy easy access easy moving we're gonna get things going with that we're gonna slowly prep building our car out for adventures i have a few things planned throughout the month but this first week is super chill nothing special is going on the first thing that pops off is a friend potluck on the night so you guys will see a little bit of that maybe as long as people are comfortable there goes my commercial that makes me freaking cry like i'm over here tearing up oh that commercial is so good <laughs> y'all think i'm kidding like <laughs> i'm like legit crying it is just the sweetest it is the sweetest little commercial. I need to get ready for my dog walk. It's 12.01, I need to be over there at 1.30. I just can't move right now. And I'm still hungry. I might eat a bowl of cereal before I go. Okay, bye. Your girl just got gas. Thank you. And I wanna know, am I the only one that gets joy out of having a full tank of gas? Like that instant gratitude of thank God, I for gas. Like, it is a treat, it is a blessing. And I do think I'm about to get some Wendy's, but I'm about to cut through Walmart and then cut back up because trying to cut through this traffic, that's a no for me, dog. I literally cannot take it anymore. I want spicy nuggets, so I'm gonna get spicy nuggets. Yeah, we're gonna get the spicy nuggets because I'm craving spicy nuggets. Uh, to your place. Hi, can I get two four piece spicy nuggets with a medium fry and two honey mustards, please? That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, instead of 10 pieces, we got eight pieces, but it's fine. We don't need 10 pieces. And it was way cheaper than getting a 10 piece nugget meal. Like, what? It was at least $3 cheaper. That's crazy. Um, inflation is real. Your girl is starving. I had a great walk with my baby Lainey. She is just the sweetest little bean. And we walked through this really nice neighborhood to the point where I'm pretty sure whenever I get a man or a husband or a partner or whatever, I do think that we're probably gonna start off in a townhouse and then get a house house with a huge yard or whatever. But the, the townhouse neighborhood that I was in, so freaking amazing like what it was the absolute cutest area 
and the neighbors were so nice they didn't get freaked out seeing a dark-skinned woman there because you know some neighborhoods especially in the south if you know you know but yeah what was I talking about before? Oh yeah, I'm listening to XOXO Gossip Kings about these two best friends who live in LA. They're two black dudes. One dude has seen Gossip Girl, the OG Gossip Girl, and the other one has not seen Gossip Girl. And they're just doing episode recaps on each and every episode every week. And it's just so freaking funny to hear their reactions on things. So I'm like, yep, that's exactly how I felt. Yep, 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 love, 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 yes. Uh, what else am I doing today? I need to go home. I need to I don't think we're gonna make the storage today Because it's already 322 Traffic is beyond heavy right now Like there's just no way I just gotta wake up early Saturday morning Cuz I'm like what's today? Today's Wednesday. We gotta wake up early early on Friday morning Um this son she is not playing with your girl all right the son is like hey what's up hello i am here you will not put baby in our corner i can say atlanta drivers are the, atlanta drivers are the worst because i live here atlanta drivers are the absolute worst okay all right um touching money and things Bless this food I'm about to receive. Let it bring nourishment to my body. Bless the hands that prepared it. Amen. Please let the fries be hot. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm so glad I'm over here. Y'all, this traffic. Look at this traffic. And taking the back way home. Look at that. Disgusting. No one has time. I'm going to catch up with y'all when we get home. Because you can't see me anymore. Because the sun is not working in my favor. Okay, bye. Divine timing is real, y'all. I'm telling you. Divine timing is fucking real. I'm selling my dresser. And I put it in all my group chats. Like, hey, I'm selling my dresser. Who needs a dresser? Let me know. I'm selling it for this amount. Let your girl know. If you need one or if you know somebody who needs one. Lo and behold, one of my besties needs a dresser for her nursery hello well now i gotta measure to see if it's gonna fit in my suv because her husband and brother are probably gonna come pick it up today love that for me so we're gonna do that let's try to get more accurate measurements all right, this is 32 inches, 32.3. I think I put that, yeah, whatever, 32 and a half. Height, 32 and a half. Width, about 17, yep. Length. Length is 63 inches. So now, let's go measure my car to see if it'll fit in my car. All right. The height, which really is here. Ooh. So it's too tall to go straight up. Okay, too tall to go straight up, noted. Can I lay it down? If I lay it down, it should fit. I think it'll fit back here. Shut up, cause the length of it is 63. And if I'm ending it, let's assume, let's create a shorter distance. If I'm ending it there, so my trunk can close, to touch the back of my seat is 65. Okay, I do think I need to measure this way one more time. 
Let's measure here. Yeah. Height. Because it's going to come in long ways. Okay. So it definitely fits long ways. Because it's this high. Okay. I'm going to lay it down. Yes. And then push. Alright. Let's measure one more time. We're hitting the pocket. It's in the pocket. Let me show this way. Yeah. Okay. It should definitely fit. Nice. Okay. So, just in case, let me take... Ooh. Just in case I got the measurements wrong on the dresser, let me take the measurements that I just got inside of here <sighs> to make sure. There we go. Alright, she's hooked there. Alright, if I bring her here, let's say 67, 68 in order for the trunk to close. Right? It's the height. Okay, yeah, because width is not a problem. Let's do the height. Measure. We're going to measure short distances. Yeah, even if. Okay, so that's 45. And even here, it's 46. Okay. Okay. 46 so it should definitely fit in my car I think we have success so I truly think the dresser fits I'm just going to quadruple check the measurements to make sure let me get my phone that have the measurements of the car my thing is when we put it in the car we're gonna lay her on her back right yeah so she's gonna slide in long ways so i need to know this measurement and this measurement width she's fine but the height once again 32.5 and if I lay her on her back boom the height if I'm laying her on her back is 45 46 in the car so she should easily slide in and then the length thank you need you to stay please and thank you the length Ooh. all right the length is 63 and then the length in the car is 67 68 so cool she fits i'm so happy i'm selling my dresser we're getting things a moving i'm telling y'all i'm downsizing i'm downsizing to the fullest like i do not need all these things like i, I truly truly don't my honey boo my bestie, she can have this dresser. You know what I mean? Like this dresser, it has been with me through four moves. It's been with me through four moves. And whew, we've been through a lot together. But now I truly think it is time for us to move on from each other. And it's time for somebody else to enjoy her and cherish her i'm gonna clean her out now i'm gonna wipe her down and vacuum her out with all the dust and stuff and yeah i'm so happy and excited i'm so oh i'm i'm thrilled right now i just don't want to be surrounded by stuff i realized on my travels when i was going through utah and montana the 12 weeks that i was gone i didn't even think about 
80% of the stuff that's in here. Some of the stuff I forgot he even had, you know what I mean? And when it comes to my clothes, I can find other ways to store my clothes. And most of these clothes I haven't even worn. It's time to vacuum the drawers. Like this is, this is a moving process. This is what we're doing. Fully committing to life on the road, life of travel, and just seeing beautiful places and not paying this stupid rent. Rent is ridiculous and I'm over it. I'm over paying rent. So we're trying to save money and do big things. So let's do it. She is cleaned out. She is wiped down. Whew, my baby girl was dusty. She was dustier in a whole lot more places than I expected, but she's ready to go. I'm waiting for my bestie to text me back saying when her brother and husband can come move her out of here. And that'll be one less thing for me to move and put in storage. I'm so freaking happy about that. I'm so happy. So I'm gonna put my clothes somewhere. It's not gonna happen today, but I'm gonna put my clothes somewhere and I think I'm gonna treat myself to some cereal because I'm craving something sweet, even though I need to drink some water because I feel like I'm very dehydrated. So I will update you guys in a bit. Hey, what's up, hello? I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I have now put on my onesie. I'm in my comfy clothes. I'm in for the night. I'm eating a bowl of cereal and we're about to watch Dr. Seuss, The Grinch. And I'm so excited. Cause I am in my Christmas feels right now. And yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that notification bell so we notified when I upload. And don't forget to subscribe to your girl. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.